Okay, I'm going to show you how to um, split up some cells in an Excel spreadsheet when they're not formatted correctly and you can't figure out a way to reformat them. These cells are formatted as assuming that the numbers with different um, that are split by the colon sign are a time of day. What we really want these to be represented representing is minutes and seconds. And we've tried converting and reformatting, but it doesn't, it retreats the numbers in an incorrect way. So this is the workaround I'm thinking of. So we, this is a copy of an original entered data from a survey. So I always copy and paste. And then what I've done is I've actually inserted several columns that are blank because I'm gonna use a function to split the, this single column up into several columns. So I usually just insert a bunch of columns to make sure I'm not overwriting any data. And then I will be wanting to work with a copy of that column. I know we have a copy of the sheet, but just in case something funny happens to this data, I don't wanna have to keep going back and repasting the data in from another sheet. So I've copied this data and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. And um, even though some of these spaces are blank, I select it. All the cells associated with other rows of data. And I'm going to use, if I go into the data tab in Excel, I'm going to go to text to columns. Okay. And um, so I'm going to use this text to columns wizard. I tell text to columns that I want to use delimited data, data in, separated by either like spaces or characters. And then usually the, the default is tab or comma, but that these data aren't delimited by tab. They're delim delimited by a colon, which is actually usually not an option here. So I'm going to get rid of tab. I'm going to type in colon. And you can see now it's showing how it's going to split the data, but I also want this AM thing split off. Um, and I may not need to do that, but I'm going to. So I'm going to type in space and now it's going to split off everything that's delimited either by a colon or a space is split. Now, because of the way Excel is reading these numbers, it's assuming these are time formats and this transfers over. I've noticed previous iterations of this to the way Excel is going to read the resulting output. So what I want to do is have Excel read all of these columns of data that are going to be generated as text. And that's what this essentially does is it resets, it unformats numeric data and sets it at text. And then you can reformat it for some reason and um, it will reformat to just default to like a number um, format rather than a time or some other special numeric format. So I'm going to select finish here. It's treating all of these columns. Now you can see it's text. It's going to say, oh, we're going to overwrite data here. That's OK, because I've inserted spaces. And now this is what it's done. So these are all data that are being treated as text. We have four columns of data. The first column is a little problematic for some of these numbers, not for all. So for this first cell, for example, it assumed that the number before the first colon was a 12 because it thought it was time of day. So 0, 100 is 12 a.m. And that's problematic because really what this meant was zero, sec zero minutes. And in ca this case, zero minutes, zero seconds. So I'm going to have to do something to get rid of the 12s. But on the other hand, anything that was detected over a minute was interpreted correctly here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reformat these cells of this first column of data and actually the second column too. I'm going to select both columns and reformat the cells as a number, okay? And that's, again, that's fine. I can get rid of these two because we didn't measure fractions of a second and none of this was this is false information, basically. It's it's none of it's associated with what we were actually doing. Oops, I inserted instead of deleted. So let's delete these two columns. Okay. So I'm gonna insert another column here because 
Now I'm going to need to do something with these 12. So I could retype every 12 to be a zero. And you could easily do that by selecting the whole data set and then sorting by number and then changing all the 12s. That's pretty straightforward. Another thing you can do is use if then functions. And so what I want this, this to do is I want it to read the numbers in the adjacent cell. And I want it to say, if the number is 12, then treat it as a zero, zero seconds. If it's any other number, I want it to treat it as that number. So I'm gonna use if then. So I'm gonna you type in equals if, that's the if function. Select your cell equals 12, okay, in quotes. Then you're gonna treat it as zero. But if it's not 12, then you wanna treat it as the value in that cell. See if this works. And it did. Well, it treated that 12 as a zero at least. Let's see what it does when I drag this down. And it treated the one as a one. And let's look down here and see if it treats the two as a two. Dragging this formula. Yep. So that's going to work. I'm going to drag this entire formula down through the data sheet. Okay. And now what I have is one column that's indicating minutes and one column that's indicating seconds. Okay. So, um, and I think at this point, I often will just copy and paste the data as values. Oops. And then I go back up to the top. Paste as values. And I'm just checking the formatting here again for this one. This is treated as a number. Okay. So this is minutes. And this is seconds. And so one more step, <laughs> well, two more steps, is I want to convert these minutes, minutes converted to seconds, right? And so what I want to do is I want to convert the data in here. I want to multiply everything by 60 because um, I want this to be expressed in terms of 60 sec of, of, of seconds. So I want this to go like that, okay? And for the zeros, it's not gonna do anything. Um, let's see if I just copy paste this, if it works. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna copy paste this formula all the way down. Oops, I meant to highlight. Let's do that. Okay. Now, the final thing we want to do is add these two numbers, total seconds. And so we want to do equals this plus this. So I'm just adding the two cells together. And so what I'm hoping here is, for example, this one minute, 17 seconds ends up being 77 seconds. So let me drag this down and just see. No, it's not working. So I'm going to pause and troubleshoot. Okay, I figured out what happened here. It's the cell formatting again. So I'm going to hi I highlighted the whole column of data here, and I go into I right click and go into Format Cells, and I select Number. But I want to make sure I'm not adding decimal places here because we didn't measure that. We we just measured seconds. So I'm going to go down to zero decimal places and click OK. And as you can see, that corrected. It actually automatically corrected, and the formula is working now. So 60, um, one minute, 17 seconds now is showing as 77 seconds. And so we can actually take this formula and just um, paste.
paste it all the way down through the spreadsheet. And now we should have the correct format. Oops, doing it again. Okay, can, copying it, and then I need to highlight all the data. So the next final thing I always do here, once I have the range of data that I need, is I might keep this to remind me myself how I did it, but really for the analysis is um, you want total seconds, okay? And I usually keep this faulty data that's being read incorrectly just because I want to be able to see that it translates. But I'm going to take this entire column. I copy it. And I just want to make sure it's not copying formulas. I want to paste the values. Because if I get rid of some of this other data and there's still a formula in there, the, the numbers change. So now I'm going to get rid of all of this mess in here where I broke things down to to be like that. And now I have my um, data that I can use and have any kind of program interpreted as seconds.